Welcome to Canada Me Studio. During making different reviews uh, on road and mountain bikes, I've been telling you that the internal cable routing is not necessarily better than the external one you see here on my CAT 10 bike. But after testing, actually testing many mountain bikes and road bikes, and after what happened to my friend's bike, which is the high-end road uh, carbon Scott um, uh, bike, I have to tell you what are the three main reasons for not buying the bike with internal cable routing. Uh, and it's true, it will be difficult because uh, <laughs> in nowadays, almost all of the bikes, uh, especially from the top end, will be having that system. So here, uh, here they are, the three main reasons uh, to avoid such bikes actually. The first one is the maintenance. So if you're having the internal cable routing, just as I have for my, for my rear brake on this uh, Cannondale Cat 10, uh, you're having many, many problems with the maintenance uh, of uh, your bike. Why is it so? Because you don't have any access to what's happening inside uh, your frame with the cables and with the housing. Uh, here, as you can see, this is the external one, so the cable is outside of the frame. I can simply shift to the smaller sprockets without uh, spinning uh, the cranks. I can open up my housing. I can look what's inside. I can clean my cable. I can move it around here. And it's super easy to actually uh, keep the cables, the housing clean and also to lube it from time to time just a little bit uh, which uh, actually helps uh, with the uh, shifting performance. Uh, this, the second thing is also that if you have to uh, replace the cable or the housing it's super easy with the external system but here with the internal one uh, you are removing the cable, removing the housings and then you have to guide the cable through the frame from this cable stop to the other one which is uh, right here on the other side and this can be super extremely uh, difficult and my friend who, who who was not able to do it by himself uh, went to the workshop and they've been doing it for a whole day uh, guiding uh, the cable only to the rear derailleur so the first thing is the maintenance the second thing is the shifting and braking performance because the internal cable routing is not better is is actually always diminishing the shifting and uh, and braking performance comparing to the external one i'm talking about the mechanical group set why is it so because uh, in order to uh, make those cables uh, going in the frame we are making much more curves here like uh, my uh, housing here has to go into the frame now it goes down a little bit and there, then to to the to the left and then it goes um, goes uh, out of the frame and once more makes twice turn it goes down up and down so I do really feel that my rear brake is much more spongy than on any bikes like comparing to the CAD 8 I had I had with the external ones the CAD 8 was much was so much better so I'm actually happy that I have only the internal cable routing for the uh, for the um, rear brake but this is not uh, always the best usually it is really decreasing uh, the performance it was it would be similar for this uh, shifting cables when they go in the frame then they have to go out once more uh, sometimes they go out here and in once more <laughs> and they don't make really the shifting so so crisp so the first one was the maintenance the second one is the shifting and braking performance uh, it does have impact on the shifting and braking performance and the third one is noise uh, the only noisy thing on my cool bike is the cable which is inside the frame and uh, when I was uh, testing for you guys there in Czech Republic in Nove Mesto like um, high bike greed or uh, what, what was it some some canyons and anything these were just top end XT XTR uh, carbon bikes those cables there was rattling as on like $200 bikes so it really <laughs> makes the difference and my friend's bike, uh, uh, I just mentioned at the beginning, 
uh, which is Scott Road Bike, uh, very expensive uh, carbon frame. When you're going through the rough uh, terrain, rough roads, it's just so noisy, it's so annoying and you cannot do anything about it. So these three reasons are, <laughs> are really super important. And I'm going to show you just in one of the uh, future uh, videos some models that we can still buy with the external one. But one more thing, what happened to my friend's bike? Well, his internal cables go in the, through the um, uh, chain stays as it usually uh, goes for the internals. Uh, and then uh, the housing, there is some hole right like here in the, in the chain stay and the housing goes out. But the housing doesn't stop simply here, it goes like um, two centimeters into the frame. And what happened was that uh, through the uh, seat stays, the water would be just coming down to that hole and to the housing inside the frame, which you don't see and you don't have access to. And the housing was full of rust. So what happened, he actually snapped uh, the cable after 3000 kilometers. Unbelievable. I have never snapped uh, a cable uh, on my mountain bikes, on my road bikes for like 20 years of riding, uh, training and racing. So it is really not that simple. Of course, some models will be better, some models will be, will be just, you know, very, very uh, lousy. Uh, so if you are thinking about buying the bike with internal cable, cable routing, which is like 99% of the bikes, it's best to ask the guys who are already riding those bikes, what does it, um, how does it really uh, work? Because the shifting is crisp when it's, everything is super clean, but after maybe like few hundreds of kilometers, it can really, you can really feel the difference. Uh, so just have that in mind, guys. Um, and maybe tomorrow or on Saturday I'm gonna um, uh, upload some, uh, some video with the uh, cool uh, bikes with external cable routing. So if you have any other experiences with internals, externals uh, on your bike, let us know in the comment, sections, uh, comment section. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.